Hi guys, it's story time with Grandma. Tonight we're going to read The Kitten Who Couldn't Purr. Karen put a big bowl of milk on the floor and called her kittens. Here, Jenny. Here, Judy. Here, Jimmy. Here, Jonathan. The kittens all came running and lapped up the milk very fast. Did you like the milk? asked Karen. Purr, said Jenny. Purr, purr, said Judy. Purr, 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 said Jimmy. Purr, 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 said Jenny and Judy and Jimmy together. Jonathan tried to purr, but he couldn't. If you like the milk, then why don't you purr? Karen asked Jonathan. Purring is like saying thank you. Please purr, little kitten. Again he tried. But he couldn't. He knew Karen couldn't tell how hard he was trying, for she said, Rude, Jonathan. If you won't purr, then you're not polite. Go outside. Jonathan went outside as sad as he could be. I'm not rude all, at all rude, he said to himself. I'll learn to purr so I can say thank you. If I go down the road, maybe I'll meet someone who'll show me how. So he walked along and walked along and walked along until he met a little red hen. Please, hen, can you, how do you purr? Like this, cluck, cluck, cluck. But that's not purring, it's clucking. Naturally, I'm a hen, not a cat or a kitten. And away went the little red hen. Jonathan still couldn't purr, but did he stop trying? No. He walked along and walked along and walked along until he met a large white duck. Please, duck, how do you purr? Like this, quack, quack, quack. That's not purring, it's quacking. Naturally, I'm a duck, not a cat or a kitten. And away went the large red, white duck. Jonathan still couldn't purr, but did he stop trying? No. He walked along and walked along and walked along until he met a fat pink pig. Please, pig, how do you purr? Like this, oink, oink, oink. <laughs> but that's not purring, it's oinking. Naturally, I'm a pig, not a cat or a kitten. And away went the fat pink pig and her ten children. Jonathan still couldn't purr, but did he stop trying? No. He walked along and walked along and walked along until he met a big brown cow. Please, cow, how do you purr? Like this. Moo, moo, moo. But that's not purring, it's mooing. Naturally, I'm a cow, not a cat or a kitten. And away went the big brown cow. Jonathan still couldn't purr, but did he stop trying? No. He walked along and walked along and walked along until he met a tall gray donkey. Please, donkey, how do you purr? Like this. Hee-haw, hee-haw, hee-haw. But that's not purring, it's hee-hawing. Naturally, I'm a donkey not a cat or a kitten, and away went the tall gray donkey. Jonathan said sadly, I'll never learn to purr, so I'll give up and go home. But just then, along came a small black puppy, his friend Toto. I'm sad, Toto, because I can't purr. Don't be sad, said the puppy. There are other ways to say thank you. My way is to wag my tail. Can you wag yours? I'm your friend, so I'll help you. Watch me. Waggity wag went to Toto's tail from side to side. Waggity wag faster and faster, fastest. Slow as a snail went Jonathan's tail at first. Up and down, round and round, the wrong way. But he waggity wagged over and over and over until his tail went from side to side the right way. Am I a good tail wagger? asked Jonathan. I'm proud of you, said the puppy. Your tail is, your wagging is just as good as mine. 
Then Jonathan ran all the way home, the happiest kitten in the world. And there was Karen with another bowl of milk. Here, Jenny and Judy and Jimmy and Jonathan. They all ran over and lapped up the milk very fast. Did you like the milk? Said, asked Karen. Purr, said Jenny. Purr, purr, said Judy. Purr, 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 said Jimmy. Purr, 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 said Jenny and Judy and Jimmy together. Jonathan still couldn't purr, but he did the next best thing. Waggity wag, waggity wag, waggity 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 wag. Karen and Jenny and Judy and Jimmy were looked so surprised. Dear Jonathan, said Karen, you can't purr, but you're not rude at all. You're wagging your tail to say thank you. And she picked him up and hugged him. And that is the end of the story of the kitten who couldn't purr.